Shavers, welcome back to another shave. I'm Spider-Man. Uh, hello, Cadre. Hello, Rich Man Shaving Group. Hello to anybody else out there on YouTube that might be watching this. Um, this is going to be my Christmas Eve shave. Um, now, I realize this might look a little bit funny, but if you can see the whole thing, it's my Santa Claus sweatshirt. So that's what I'm wearing for this shave. And we've got our Christmas Eve soap from Sterling. And I'm going to be using my winter shaving brush from Oz Shaving Company. So we're gonna go ahead and get started because I'm gonna be talking for a little while. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and get this going. Um, probably not gonna do a Christmas video for tomorrow. Um, so I wanted to get this one in on Christmas Eve. Uh, show you what I'm using, talk about what I'm gonna be using tomorrow and all that good stuff. So um, I've had my kids uh, since uh, late last week and I get them until Christmas day. So since um, they go back to their mother's house on Christmas day, uh, we celebrate Christmas early here. Um, and we decided to do Christmas on Sunday so that, um, you know, they would have some time to uh, play around with the stuff that they got, enjoy it before they had to go back. Um, so our Christmas is kind of already done. Um, but uh, my girlfriend and I will be doing Christmas on Christmas Day. So I still got something to look forward to. Um, but, like I said, we did Christmas, we did opening gifts, we did Christmas dinner already on Sunday. Well then, yesterday... It was Monday, we all went out shopping and they got some gift cards for Christmas and there's some holiday stuff going on around. So we went to the mall, uh, went to a bookstore, went to Bass Pro Shop for the boys, um, and then we went to dinner. We went out to a, a Mongolian grill so if you don't know what a Mongolian grill is, get to that in one second. I'm gonna be using my Yuma uh, razor. Uh, now, crazy thing, I this is a cheap razor, really cheap. Uh, you can buy it shipped uh, off of eBay or Amazon, I forget which one, probably eBay, for um, <clears throat> like eight bucks. Um, it's very cheap, pop metal, um, the the edges aren't even like super smooth, clean, polished, whatever you want. Um, very lightweight. Things I think it's like 17 grams or something like that. But for some reason, this gives me the best shave out of anything. Um, it beats $100, $200 razors, hands down. Um, for me and my skin and my preferred technique, it just works the best. Um, it's really mild, so it's a great beginner razor. Anyways, back to my story. Uh, Mongolian grill. So, um, you go up, they give you a bowl, and you grab some meat. But the meat is raw, and uh, you just put it in your bowl. And then once you get your meat, you go to the next station and fill it up with any and all vegetables that you want. As much as you can fit in your bowl. And then you grab some sauces and you fill another bowl up with some sauces. So then they basically just have this huge flat grill and they stir fry everything up together for you. So they cook everything, all the meat and the vegetables together. And then at the very end, they put the sauces on it and cook it a little bit longer. They put it on a plate and then you take it back to your table and eat it. And it's pretty good. And you get to build it yourself with whatever sauces you want, make it however hot you want. Um, it's just a good experience. So then after that, we went to um, Christmas in the Park, which is something that's been going on in uh, the Kansas City area for 32 years. Um, basically a big animated light display that you drive through. Um, we, I tried to time it yesterday, so we'd get there right when it opened, 
which is right at sunset, about 5.30 or so. Um, and we didn't. We ended up getting there a little bit, probably about 6.15. And by that time, the line was quite long. Um, we ended up waiting from the time we got in line to the time we uh, finished driving through it and we're on our way out. It was like two hours. Um, but it was still a good time. Um, lots of cool animated light displays, um, which I will include, hopefully, some video after this, maybe before, um, to show you what I'm talking about, or at least a little bit. Um, and then after that, there's also something called a uh, giving tree. And it is a tree that is covered in lights that change colors and it's just a pretty cool place uh, they do it uh, for a canned food drive but they put it up every year it's out in the middle of nowhere but people come from all around just to take pictures with it uh, a lot of people do their christmas card photos and everything so i'll include a picture of that as well I did just put a brand new blade in this, a uh, GSB. Not one of my favorite blades, but pretty good blade. But I, uh, I'm getting ready to do the February one blade challenge. Where you use one blade for the entire month of February, and we pick February because it's the shortest month. So hopefully everybody can get one blade and use it for the entire month. Um, if you can't, if the blade just flat out dies on you, um, then you grab another one of the same blade and just next time try to use it longer. Um, but the goal is to try to push, push your blade. Some people, as soon as they feel a little bit of discomfort in a blade, they'll toss it. Well, some people attribute that to the blade and sometimes it's not the blade. Sometimes it's other factors. And you know, if you push past that discomfort for that one shave, the next shave, it could be perfectly fine. Um, so I think a lot of people toss blades prematurely and uh, that the one blade February is just a chance to experiment and do something a little different, push your boundaries a little bit and see what you can get out of a blade. Um, the last blade that I just took out of my Yuma had been in there for like two months um, of nearly everyday shaving. There were a few days that I mix it up, use different razors. Um, but it had it probably close to two months worth of shaves on it because it's been in there for longer than two months. So my goal, well, I don't have a goal. I'm just going to use it for as long as I can, which I'm guessing is going to be over two months. But you never know, I could pull a dud blade. Happens every now and then. You get one that just doesn't work. But tomorrow is Christmas. And uh, so as you can see, I got my uh, Mohawk going on. Uh, recently died, and now Nurse Dave commented, what, that's not Christmas colors? Well, no, I wasn't necessarily going for Christmas, I was mainly going for winter. Um, so, you know, something that might fit into, uh, like, uh, you know, Superman's Ice Palace, or, or uh, something, a uh, color scheme, like, that you might see in the Frozen movies.
So just kind of wintry, cold, cool colors. That's what we're going for. And do a little bit of touch up. Tomorrow, like I said, Christmas is, uh, I'm gonna be using my CBL soaps. I don't know which one yet. Uh, I think I know which way I'm leaning, but I had it narrowed down to uh, Three Pines or Christmas Memories, uh, which were two of his uh, more limited edition soaps. I don't know that either of them are currently available on his website. Uh, they were ones that were initially sold in the smaller tubs, the smaller puck size. Uh, which is why they got the smaller labels on them, but I bought several of them and compiled them into a larger tub because I wanted more of them. Um, so that's why I've got the small small label on the big tub. But um, uh, Christmas Memories or Three Pines. I'm leaning towards Three Pines because uh, I love waking up Christmas morning and smelling a good pine scent. Um, I don't have a real tree, but I do have some pine scented candles, some pine scented air fresheners, and I love a good pine scented soap. Um, so I think that's what we're going to be using. I might twist it up and start with pine and then add a little bit of uh, Christmas memories to it. I don't know. We'll see. Like most of my shaves, I just kind of figure them out on the fly. So we're just going to clean this up a little bit, rinse off my face. Most of it's gone already. Just got a little bit of leftover soap on there. Just want to get that all off. And follow up with um, some witch hazel. This time I'm going with some, uh, some Humphreys. Alcohol Lajaro Meravilla. It's got a slight bay rum scent to it. And it's got lots of good skin goodies in there too. It's good stuff. Hard to find. Uh, I think they quit making it, so whatever's out there is out there. And that's it. So I do kind of dilute that slightly with some regular witch hazel. Just make it last a little bit longer. It's got a little bit of menthol in there too. And we're going to follow up with Oz Shaving Winter. I do not have the Christmas Eve aftershave from Sterling because I just kind of wanted it in the soap and didn't really want that scent as an aftershave. Um, this winter has got a nice uh, peppermint and spice, which probably is better as a soap than an aftershave, but we're using it. Alrighty, so there's my shave wrapping up for today. I hope everybody out there has a good Christmas Eve. Uh, you get to spend it with your family, whether you did Christmas already or whether you're doing Christmas tomorrow. Maybe in some parts of the world you're doing it today. I don't know. Uh, but I hope you enjoy your holidays. I uh, hope you get some time off of work, some time to relax, just uh, enjoy. Get a glass of grog. And, uh, you know, relax over the holidays, watch some TV, watch some sports. I don't know, whatever you do, I don't watch sports. But uh, everybody have a good, good time, and we'll see you guys on the forums and on Facebook and YouTube. See you guys later. Bye. You're right. There it goes. Ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at the glitter lights. Oh, it actually kind of smells so good. Just pop one of the lights. Why don't those lights like, all of them turn off? <laughs> those are kind of neat. Mercedes Jeep. Mm -hmm.
Starts with DJ. Dragon. Yeah, we'll look for a tree. Ah, the red eyes. I think he's for Halloween too. Frog. Hey, who put the Halloween decorations in here? And they salute him when they're falling down. Wow, trippy. You wanted me to buy your drink? No. <laughs> <laughs> 